Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master Storm Enforcer case. Well, this is a great looking box. It has this kind of black red color theme. You've got a picture of the product on the front of the box. Also, this very mean enforcer. Mmm, nice. Also, all kinds of other features and specifications all around the box. So if you are picking this up in store, well, you can kind of just look at the box and figure out if you want it or not. Now, this is a mid-sized tower case, so I'll open it from the top and tip it upside down. If it's a large case, I normally open it from the bottom and then lift the box off. And by the way, there are two holes, one on each side for lifting the box, which is good. Again, if you're picking it up in store, let me open it now from the top. Also, don't cut too deep because you do not want to damage anything inside the box. User's manual at the top. Oh, and styrofoam, pretty typical. Uh, for case boxes on each side and the case is in a plastic bag. Remove the styrofoam. And there's protective plastic on the left side panel and as you can see there's more protective plastic on the inside of the window as well and that's good because sometimes you know cables will fly around on the inside and damage the window on the inside so this is good because it protects it now this is a mid-sized tower case and as you can see the styling is pretty aggressive but you know it's not over the top aggressive because I don't really like, to be honest, over the top aggressive looking cases because sometimes they can look, well, just a bit too much. And this one has that in between, you know, it looks kind of really aggressive and cool, but it still maintains some form of elegance. At the top, you can install one very large 200 millimeter optional fan or two optional 120 millimeter fans. And I believe you should be able to fit a radiator here at the top. Also at the top is a place to put all of your goodies. As well, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, microphone jack and headphone jack. There's an LED right here. I believe this one's for power. And this one is for the hard drive. The power button is right here. And just inside the door is the reset button. Up to four five and a quarter inch drives can be installed, and you can also install a three and a half inch drive if you wish. Now, each one of these dust covers is mesh, but they also double as dust filters. There's not a lot of branding on this case, and I think that's a good thing, except for this, which is CM Storm, and this is on the door. There's also lots of mesh and ventilation at the bottom front. The left side panel has a window, and it also continues this enforcer theme and that looks quite nice. Now the right side panel has nothing on it, it's plain. At the back of the case, there are three rubber grommeted holes. Now you can use these to route water cooling tubes through and or cables. They include a 120 millimeter exhaust fan. Here's where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed and they include eight ventilated expansion slots. Seven are here and the other one's right here. At the bottom is where a standard ATX power supply gets installed and they have two thumb screws on the left side panel and two regular screws on the right side panel. Looks like they include an accessory box. Let me remove this and see what's inside of it. Note that they have it attached with this humongous cable tie. Which is good because you know you don't want this flying about on the inside of the case. Cable ties, motherboard standoffs, a speaker, screws, 
drive rails. Looks like they have a three and a half to two and a half inch drive adapter. They also include this five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch drive bay adapter. So you can install a three and a half inch external drive in one of the five and a quarter inch drive bays. They also include this expansion slot filler and this is used to route cables through. And with the front panel removed, you can easily install any external drives. Also, note the very, very large 200 millimeter red LED intake fan. Removing these drive bay covers is pretty easy, but again, it requires you removing the front panel, and all you need to do is press in here, and then it will just completely pop out. Remember that each one of these doubles as a dust filter, and there is a very large removable dust filter here for that humongous 200 millimeter intake fan. This case accepts micro ATX and standard ATX form factor motherboards. It's black on the inside, has has a large hole on the motherboard tray and this is an enormous time saver there are also all kinds of cable management holes on the motherboard tray as well as punch outs so you can attach the cables to the back of the motherboard tray and there is a fair amount of space between the motherboard tray and the right side panel so you'll get a lot of cables back there i'd recommend putting as many cables as you can behind the motherboard tray because it looks great and it will increase airflow inside of the case there's a toolless design on the five and a quarter inch drive base all you need to do is open it then slip the five and a quarter inch drive into the drive bay and once you've done that lock it into place now the seven expansion slots right here do not have a toolless design but this one has a thumb screw would have been nice to see these also have thumb screws you can install up to six internal three and a half inch drives four in this top hard drive cage and two more on the bottom you can also install two two and a half inch drives on this hard drive cage now this can be removed if you need it to be to allow for a longer power supply to be installed and remember you can install two more two and a half inch drives on this three and a half inch to two and a half inch drive bay adapter one gets installed on the top and the other one on the bottom. There are four rubber rests for the power supply to lodge on. This case fits a cooler up to 175 millimeters in height. And if you want to install an enormous video card or video cards, that's not a problem. You have two different choices. You can leave this top removable hard drive cage in. If you do, it will give you 270 millimeters. If you remove it, you have 300 and 90 millimeters at the bottom there are four plastic feet rubber would have been preferred because rubber doesn't scratch the surface like hard plastic and rubber has better anti-vibration properties there's also a removable dust filter for the power supplies fan finally have a listen to the stock cooling This product falls into that budget midsize tower gaming case category. And there's lots of these budget midsize tower cases on the market. So how does this case separate itself from the many, many, many others that are out there? Well, it really doesn't, although the styling is quite nice on this case and it does have USB 3 connectivity, which is you know, something you should be looking for when you are now purchasing a mid-size tower case. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.